So what we're going to do then is we're going to use flour and water to create texture. All right, so I've just got a normal bag of flour and a little bit of water and a teaspoon. So I'm just going to put flour okay, into the water. Now what we want is for the flour and water to be uh, quite um, thick. All right, so it's almost like a dough. Now this is really, really good for a textured background. All right, so um, that's why... That's why we use it okay so but remember as i've demonstrated before that you do need to add in some uh, salt okay so just here a little bit of salt it just prevents it from going moldy if it takes a little bit too long to dry all right so so we want it to be okay quite thick now we are creating texture all right with this flour and water all right it's textured paste so, all right, what we do is once we're happy with the consistency, if you think that that isn't quite as um, thick as you would like it to be, because we don't want it to be runny, because otherwise it's just going to end up with a, thick, uh, a flat, a flat kind of texture, then just add more flour. Okay, just add in okay, a little bit at a time. All right, so that we don't uh, you don't end up with making making absolutely loads of it and wasting your parents grandparents flour okay so that there you see that it's a bit more kind of it's a bit more if, if i'm going to poke a hole in that it's definitely going to stay it's not going to kind of get too um it's not going to flatten by itself okay so i'm just going to make sure that all of the water is in there all right, make sure there's no dried flour. Doesn't matter too much if there is. All right, it's more like a sticky bread dough now. All right, so try and get off as much as you can so that it doesn't make so much of a mess of your sponge. And then all we're gonna do is use okay, that flour and water, and you're just gonna create all right, a texture on your paper, all right, which is quite nice. So if you're doing a graffiti portrait, you could replicate all right, the textures of um, a brick wall. Okay, if you're going to try and have a go at doing your uh, portrait in the style of a specific artist, and they use quite a lot of this um, thick material, uh, the kind of textural backgrounds, all right, then you can do it in the style of them too. Okay. It makes quite a nice surface for you to paint on. Are you pushing it right down? I say, when that dries up, that's going to replicate quite nicely um, a brick wall. Okay. Now I'll just finish it off. Then leave it somewhere safe to dry. Now, if you wanted to, you could use a bit of um, glue on your paper. That way, it's definitely going to stick. You could even add in a bit of glue. PVA glue will do. All right, you could add in a little bit of PVA glue into the flower, just to make sure it doesn't fall off your page. But to be honest, it's so thick, it's likely going to stay on for quite some time anyway. Okay. You can make some bits, you can make it really, really thick. You could even, if you quite like the idea of it, you could even kind of create really high bits so it looks like pebbles. Take a bit longer to dry, that's why we put the salt in, okay? So you don't have to kind of make it really, really smooth. You could replicate the texture of fabric. Okay, you could make it even thicker make it stand up, you could add tissue into it, like we did with the paper mache monsters on uh, Facebook. All right, you can um, kind of make it stand up. You can almost sculpt out of it as well. Okay, and just cover your page with it. It's a cheaper alternative to getting polyfiller. You could add sand into this. You could add um, sto little stones into it. You could um, put into it buttons. Okay, not chocolate buttons. Why would you do that? They're too tasty. 
all right but you could put in um different kind of textures and mess around with it, it doesn't just need to be flour and water okay but when it's finished you can then paint over the top of that as i say in the style of a, a brick wall and style of your artist okay that's how you use flour and water to create texture